Hello. I pray that you are well today. I want you to think about this week. Difference. Difference, consider this. Difference spiritually is a test. When people act differently, think differently, look differently, are different from you, it's a test. How will we treat each other? Will we treat each other the way God would have us treat each other? In Galatians 3, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither this background or that background. There's neither slave nor free. There is neither this socioeconomic status or that socioeconomic status. There's neither male nor female. There's neither this gender or that gender. For all are one in Christ. You know, we often, in our culture, want to slice and dice people's characteristics and suggest this person must be like this because, after all, they fit this category of people. Some people call it stereotyping. But as Christians, the truth is God looks at us all as both individuals and together. The scripture uses the language in the church in particular. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 27, it says, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a member of it. Some time ago, I heard this phrase, and it's a helpful phrase to me. Sad phrase, but it's helpful. Differentiation often leads to the next step, superiority and inferiority. We make a judgment. There's a difference. Therefore, one must be superior and the other inferior. Is that really godly? How do we deal with difference? How do we deal with the difference of background, the difference of opinion, the difference of approach, the difference of looks, the difference of socioeconomic status, the difference in education? How do we deal with it? May we look at each other the way Christ would. There's neither Jew nor Greek. God doesn't value different groups differently. There's neither slave nor free. God doesn't value different people differently because of the amount of zeros behind their name. There's neither male nor female. God doesn't value different genders differently. All are one in Christ. I pray that we, by the grace of God, pass the test. As you look at differences this week, as differences are drawn out to you, may we look through eyes of faith. May we see each other the way that God would have us see each other. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we pray that we in this world that wants to divide and separate and have difficulties one with another, may we, may we as the body of Christ, we are the body of Christ and each one of us is individually a member of it. We are both individuals and we are members of the body of Christ together. May we treat one another the way you want us to treat each other. That we may see people in our world the way you do. In Christ's name, amen. God bless you. Remember, difference is a test. God's grace.